And womb cancer is actually the fourth most common cancer affecting women in the UK and the number of women affected by womb cancer is actually rising year on year. A lot of that is due to obesity but there's also another important cause of womb cancer and that's Lynch syndrome which is an inherited cancer predisposition syndrome which increases the risk of someone developing bowel cancer and womb cancer and a number of other different cancers. Standardly in the UK everyone who has a diagnosis of bowel cancer is now tested for Lynch syndrome but the same isn't true for womb cancer and yet we think that the proportion of womb cancers associated with Lynch syndrome is actually really similar and it struck me in my clinical role that we didn't really know who we should be testing for Lynch syndrome when they were diagnosed with womb cancer. So some women were being tested if they were particularly young and others if they had a strong family history, but there was no real consensus as to who we should be testing. And that got me thinking that perhaps there wasn't enough research in this area. So I paired up with Professor Gareth Evans, who is a professor of cancer epidemiology here at the University of Manchester. And we thought that this would be a really good opportunity to do some research that would actually make a difference for patients and to actually look to find out what is the proportion of womb cancers associated with Lynch syndrome. Do women want to be tested for Lynch syndrome and how much does that cost? And that's how we met Neil. So by doing things that we're doing here with the Eva Peel, with Lynch Syndrome UK uh, and with the University of Manchester, we're really working hard to get the uh, public knowledge around Lynch syndrome up to establish it as a disease that people know about um, and that people will go out and ask about. Clinicians and scientists weren't aware of Lynch syndrome, they especially weren't aware of Lynch syndrome within the context of gynaecological cancer. So you'll be hearing from us and also some really powerful and personal messages from patients that really underline the importance of getting this right and identifying Lynch syndrome early.